Disability Rights, Education and Defense Fund's 38th Anniversary Celebration, October 23, 2017, in Berkeley, California. Disability Rights, Education and Defense Fund gave the 2017 Rudy Frank Award for Activism to ADAPT. ADAPT is a national grassroots community that organizes disability rights activists to engage in nonviolent direct action, including civil disobedience, to assure the civil and human rights of people with disabilities to live in freedom. This year, ADAPT's direct actions were aimed at ensuring failure of Congress's efforts to repeal the Affordable Care Act and Medicaid expansion. They were successful. With gratitude, Dredoff honors the adapters who put their health and lives at risk in Washington, D.C. and key states, endured police misconduct and arrest so that people with disabilities continue to have access to health care and home and community-based services. Marilyn Golden. I'm thrilled to present to you Bruce Starling. <laughs> Marilyn Golden, a wheelchair user on stage in front of a red and white banner with Dredoff's name. Bruce Starling walks onto the stage as Marilyn walks off. Lawrence Carter Long in a gold lame jacket lifts the mic. Bruce Starling. Okay, so. No, I'm completely off script immediately, so whoever took less than four seconds in the pool won. Um, I just, it's an honor to be on the stage with Marilyn Golden, my personal hero since like 1985, and the apparent reincarnation of Elvis. <laughs> I have to say this was one of those things I never expected to occur in my life, but you know, yay. <laughs> All right, so uh, a little more seriously, um, thank you. Many of us carried the ADAPT banner and fought the repeal of Obamacare and the Medicaid cuts. So when we recognize ADAPT for saving health care, that's an acknowledgement of the work we all have done. And I really want to reinforce that. It's the work we all have done. And it was amazing work. Following the arrests in McConnell's office, our community sustained a level of direct action over time and geography that had never before been achieved. It was awesome to watch and be a part of. Some of our community put their bodies on the line, literally. We were assaulted, injured, and jailed. Um, but the images of disabled Americans being dragged away by police, thrown on the ground, and dumped out of their wheel wheelchairs were visceral. Our community's collective work in mainstream and social media, helping the non-disabled world understand those images and our message, literally transformed the discussion about healthcare into one about civil rights. It was a great victory, but the events of this year have the potential to change so much more. So it seems that progressives have generally assumed that when supporting disability rights, it was some form of charity. So when ADAPT pushed Democrats and Democratic leadership to support our cause and our legislation, the Disability Integration Act, we were frequently told, yeah, woo! We were frequently told the disability community didn't raise enough money or wasn't a strong enough voting block to matter. We were told this. We, we didn't contribute, what does that sound like, Marilyn? So we didn't deserve the support. We can see the impact of that. Democrats feel comfortable co-sponsoring HR 620, a bill that undercuts the ADA, and freely ignore our request that they co-sponsor the Disability Integration Act, a bill that ensures our freedom. So I'd like to point out that although we talk about disability rights are, bi you know, are bipartisan, the opposition to disability rights is also bipartisan. But things changed this year when we, and I underscore we, saved health care. We aren't asking for charity anymore. Our protests have demonstrated that we can and do contribute. And we can leverage that success. So as a gay man, I understand this firsthand. Okay, so for more years than I can remember, the LGBTQ community was a stepchild to the Democrats. 
We dutifully donated to a party whose members routinely assured us they wouldn't ask, expected us not to tell, and publicly opposed our right to marry. That only changed with the LGBTQ community demanded respect and support. The disability community can do the same damn thing. And frankly, California is the perfect place to make this happen. With two Democratic senators and 39 Democrats in the House, including the minority leader, there are, only four, there are still only four Democrats co-sponsoring the Disability Integration Act. And worse, California has six Democrats co-sponsoring H.R. 620, a bill whose name I refuse to learn. <laughs> Um, would the LGBTQ community accept that? Absolutely not. And neither should the disability community or the multitude of communities within the disability community. With our collective victory in saving Obamacare, we have the moral high ground. Let's use it. Yeah. Yeah. We must keep reminding people that there is no downside to inclusion of people with disabilities. When the disability community wins, everyone wins. And it goes both ways. Dredd's vocal and visible support for community engagement leading up to uh, and during the recent No Hate San Francisco campaign, I don't know how you say it here, but I see the signs. Um, that rally is a wonderful example of this, pr this principle in action. Justice work is changing. It's intersectional and it supports each other. Uh, thankfully, more activists and lawmakers are acknowledging that organizing is done in ways that they cross intersections, and none of us is in this alone. And we've seen that with progressives during the fight for health care, during our, our, our struggles. We saw support go back and forth between the disability community and the broader progressive community. What others say and do and what the disability community does influences the greater whole. And we've had enough segregation in our, in our histories. There need to be no more silos. There is no lane that the disability community needs to stay in because people with disabilities are in every lane. Everyone who, yeah. And anyone who doesn't understand that is increasingly behind the times. We can and should demand that progress, the progressive tent be both bigger and more accessible. I know it's hard when you are literally thousands of miles away from the front lines the, to resist Trump. I got calls from folks in California all the time saying, for God's sakes, what can we do? <laughs> um, so during the fight um, over health care, which continues, folks in California took action. Some were able to make trips to other places, but many more were looking for ways to make a difference at home. So I'm asking you that while those of us who are deep inside red states and territories continue the fight to resist Trump, I'm calling on you to leverage our success in resisting Trump. Ensure that the Democrats and progressives understand disability rights are civil rights and that they need to act accordingly. It will take all of us working together to do disability justice. So I'm calling on you. Get your California Democrats off of H.R. 620, that horrible bill. Get them on the Disability Integration Act because disabled Americans deserve life and liberty like everyone else. Because there is no damn asterisk in the Constitution that says, unless you're disabled. Push them hard. We can do this just as we've done with saving Medicaid. And I applaud Dredd's work on, uh, against legalizing assisted suicide. Marilyn Golden, as I said, my personal hero, worked on this front, uh, has worked on this front, and it's a great example of Dredd's critically important national leadership, and leadership that we all, including ADAPT, follow. Thank you for that. People across the country, including me, appreciate your ever vigilant work both in the public eye and behind the scenes, on behalf of our community and our movement. Thank you very much. And Susan, watching you here tonight as people came up to the stage, it was an honor to see 
just how proud you were of everyone and how supportive you were. I wish everyone could have seen, seen your face while folks were talking. So thank you for, yes, absolutely. So thank you for everything you're doing and finally thank you for recognizing ADAPT this evening. It is truly an honor to be here. Thank you.